Hi there, friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Clean sweep on the radar, looking dry overnight tonight. Skies right now fair. We are going to, I think, have a little more cloud cover moving in later tonight. And it's all because of this guy right here. There's this low pressure system to the north. It's going to kind of dip down to the south. And as it does, it's going to impact us here as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. There's actually another low pressure system. That one, though, should miss us to the south and to the east. Let's take a look at what's going on in our atmosphere. Okay, so we've talked about this low. It's a coastal low that's going to kind of push out to sea. The rain's going to get close to us from this low, but I think it's going to miss us by about 50 to 100 miles. However, we've got this storm system to the north pushing in. What that means for us is temperatures tomorrow will be on the cool side, highs in the lower 70s. As we head into the day Thursday, we're still cool with temperatures near 70. We'll still have the chance for some spotty showers, even a stray thunderstorm as we head into Thursday. But overall, we're not looking at washouts on either Wednesday or Thursday. Chance for rain both days at around 30 or 40 percent. Now, your future tracker showing that as we head into the overnight tonight, again, a little more cloud cover expected, especially later. I do think we'll see some sunshine early in the day tomorrow, only to have more clouds moving in by around lunchtime into the afternoon. Now, this is around noon. At that point, the best chance for a few showers will likely be north of Highway 460, and then the rain becomes a little more widespread as we head into the afternoon and evening. Light to moderate rain, for the most part, is what we're looking at with this storm system. There could be a stray thunder shower into our far southwesternmost counties as we head into Wednesday evening, but uh, again, I think we're just mainly dealing with showers out of this next storm system. As we head into Thursday, maybe a lingering shower or two early on Thursday. Otherwise, the farther south and east you go, the more sun you could potentially see. Then as we head into Thursday afternoon, areas along and west of the parkway will have the best chance for more spotty showers. So again, uh, overall, we're not looking at a ton of rain here over the course of the next two days or so. I'm thinking anywhere from around a trace to in upwards of a half an inch of rain in some spots. I do think that there could be, again, a few spots, especially into our westernmost counties, our far, perhaps even southwesternmost counties, seeing the most rain, perhaps those areas seeing up to three quarters of an inch. But for the most part, it's a trace to a half an inch as to what we're expecting here as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. All right, so this storm system is coming at us from an odd direction. Again, it's coming from the northwest to the southeast, and it's going to be a cutoff flow. What is a cutoff flow? Well, for one, we've got this jet stream taking a big old dip to the south. That's called a trough. When you have a trough, you usually have some instability. This low pressure system is not going to be attached to the jet stream. The jet stream is our main mode of transportation in the atmosphere, and when lows are not attached to them, they move very slowly. So that's why I'm thinking we'll have the chance for a not only on Wednesday, but also into the day on uh, not on Wednesday, and also as we head into the day on Thursday. So today was a beautiful day. It looks like we'll have more clouds and a better chance for rain Wednesday into Thursday. Temperatures stand right now 50 in Hot Springs. It is 69 in Danville, 63 in Martinsville. It's 58 in Hillsville and Galax. Winds have calmed down. We have them anywhere between 3 and 12 miles per hour right now strongest wind right now in Roanoke. We did have some wind gusts today in excess of 25 or 30 miles per hour, but those winds have since died down. And then for the day tomorrow, we're looking at an easterly component to the wind, weak wedge setting into play with winds anywhere between around four and eight miles per hour. So for tonight, we'll turn partly cloudy later. Overnight lows are in the 40s and 50s. A good night to turn off the AC and open those windows. For the day tomorrow, highs in the 60s and 70s. We'll start out the day dry. We'll end the day with clouds and some rain around. You're looking at your uh, three-degree guarantee high for the day on Wednesday, 71. 70 on Thursday, up to 80 on Friday. Middle 80 Saturday, upper 80 Sunday, lower 90s on Monday. We're still near 90 on Tuesday. So after a cool day, Wednesday and Thursday, we're looking at a big league warm-up as we head into the early part of the next work week. And oh, by the way, the weekend, although warm and humid, both days look dry.